We're Lauren and Scott, and we are cycling 10,000 kilometres across Europe. Starting in Greece, the plan is to cycle to the west coast of Ireland. Passing through 15 countries, we cycle through some of the most magical landscapes Europe has to offer. So join us on our first ever bike tour as we learn to navigate the European cycling networks, oh. encounter all weather conditions, and overindulge in our favourite baked goods. Come on, so crunchy. In this episode, we marvel in the beauty of southern Albania. So beautiful. Conquer a climb. So high five. Battle some vicious gusts. Oh god. Plus, get our first puncture of the trip. Oh, we have a flat. No. Good morning. We have just left Sarande. It was a bit of a crazy time getting out of Sarande because the traffic in Sarande is bloody outrageous. Some of the roads just like merge. I don't even know if there's like a rule. Anyways, we climbed out of Sarande because we went down to the port. We had to like climb all the way out into the valley. I think it was like a 1.8 kilometer climb. On the way, we got some good encouragement from a car with like four or five girls in it. And they were just like yelling encouragement out of the car. We must have looked like we were really struggling. It was really steep. But it was also really like a really busy road. We're heading towards a place called Hamar. It's not that far. It's only like 65 kilometers, I think. But it is also 10 a.m. <laughs> we love, love a good late checkout. Um, we kind of just potted around this morning and repacked the bags and made sure everything is clean and ready to go. And that is the plan for today. So the morning's been spent cycling through over like maybe like the side of a mountain. So we hit going up and then steeply down and then up and then steeply down, which is really nice. We've got a really beautiful view of the valley and the mountains. It's actually a lovely ride. The road's not very busy either, and the road is not too narrow, so they can overtake us pretty well. Also, Albania is beautiful. There's a lot of up. <laughs> I feel like we've been riding up a lot. Oh my goodness, this view is wonderful. We're really hoping for a village soon, and we're hoping that village is telling bro. It's quarter to one here. We're in a town called La Cove. We've been riding on this beautiful road like all morning. We came across this market, and the markets, like the little supermarkets, they've never seemed to have like the lights on or their drinks fridges on or anything. So you never know if it's really open. Anyway, in there, I found a loaf of bread and two bananas. So we're having Nutella and banana sandwiches. And it's really nice, actually. I was wondering how fresh the bread was, thinking maybe I bought a few day old bread, but it's actually pretty good. Mm. I'm a fan. So after our peanut butter, Nutella, delicious sandwiches, um, we had a three kilometre descent and it was freezing. I was like, my body was shaking and my back got sore because I was like literally shaking. Anyways, um, beautiful descent, but very sharp, like hairpin turn to like lots of breaking. Um, the most breathtaking views we've seen in Albania. So beautiful. And now we've just ridden up halfway up the hut. It's steep. And so we're just giving the legs a quick little rest before we finish the top. So we didn't film any more of this day, but it is definitely in our top five rides of the entire trip. The Southern Albanian coast is a must see. We spent the afternoon searching for a wild camp spot, but to no avail. We ended up in Dermi just as the sun was setting and booked some last minute accommodation in the middle of town. With over 1600 meters of elevation gain today, we were excited for a bed. We're leaving the beautiful town of Dermi, which we made to last night. Stayed in a lovely hotel. Last minute, of course. So today, we have some steep climbs ahead of us. We did meet beautiful Joe a while ago now, maybe like two weeks ago. And she's an absolute machine. She cycled away to Dubrovnik Already. in 10 days from Athens. And she it took her two hours to get up this switchback a road, so. She's two and a half times faster than we are. <laughs> So this might take us four and a half hours. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's just very steep. After yesterday, where we climbed like 1,600 metres, and today's in the 2000s, we're a bit bucket. There won't be any attacks from Dugan today, that's for sure. That was a big one. All right, we're about, what, not even a quarter up the mountain. So some stats from the start of the mountain. Each switchback is averaging to be 1.2 kilometers. Is it? Yes. We started exactly 25 minutes ago and we've done two switchbacks. 
this switchback is like going like along a canyon. So we switched back up the mountain twice and now we're going like into the canyon more. Every car's laughing at us, laughing or smiling. Either either they think we're probably doofuses. Oh my God, look how steep that is up there. We haven't walked our bikes yet and only five cars have passed us going our way, but a lot coming the other way. We're 7.3 k's up. In an hour and 25 minutes, pretty much exactly. We think this is the last switchback. The mountain you see behind us, what's that one called, Lauren? That, Scott, is Mount Unknown. Mount Seco, I think, or Chico. And we are going up the Lagora Pass. Ah. There you go, bit of information for you. This definitely looks like the last switchback. There's none that are higher than us. No. I think there's a good viewpoint coming up. It's gonna be the slowest 7K up and the fastest 7K down. Legs are feeling good. It's not like really steep like it was yesterday. It's like it's just a nice incline. Steady, isn't it? Steady incline. It's gonna maintain your pace. Those we'll see you at the top. Oh, hi there. We've made it to the top of the Laguna Pass. Have a look. Let's see if we can see the switchback we came down. And there. All the way around and back around the way. And Lauren's eating a tallow sandwich. Would you like one? Would you like a tallow sandwich? Mm. Yeah, why not? But we're definitely going up. Oh my god, look up there. Just sees more switch back all the way to the top. I was wondering, it took us an hour and... 35. Well, we got an hour of 10, yeah, about an hour of 35. And Jo did it an hour and 45 and she didn't have much stuff at all, and a road bike. So, yeah, we've definitely got a lot longer to go. Better refuel with an Nutella sandwich. How are you hungry? Oh, no, I got to tell her of the bag. That's a put inside out. Lunch with a view. Oh, no, I just did it again. <laughs> yeah, some rookie areas over there, do they? Do you want to make your own sandwiches? No. I suppose we'll keep going. So we finally made it to the top. 10 kilometres, two hours. 10 kilometres, two hours. There's a restaurant up here, who knew? There's and you can stay up there's here. There's a few restaurants actually. Oh. There's restaurants all the way down. That was good though, it's a bit cold up here, but maybe because we're a bit sweaty. Yeah, I feel like we should keep moving because it's very cold. Mm, we should have a downhill now, but let's not uh, bank on that. Yeah, we're only guessing we're at the top. We're pretty sure we are there. <laughs> Great ocean views to yeah. absolutely nothing. So high five. Good job. 40 k's to four. Let's do it. Okay. We think there's a couple of dogs up here that barked at our friend and chased her, three of them, so uh, we're still cautious. It seems to be okay, there's people around and cars going by, and I can't see any dogs just yet. Let it fly, baby. That was a short lived downhill. Do you think we should put like a rain jacket on or something? No, it should be okay for now. It's freezing. The wind must be, the gusts are massive. We're coming down and then the wind was that fierce, it's pushing us like sideways off the road. Like actually off your bike. Lost Deep all, on the ground. Like, no stabilization at all. And we're still Pretty far way from. high up. And we do not want to go down. We're gonna to have to keep doing what we're doing. We're really slow. Like real slow, yeah. And your feet close to the ground so you can put them down if you need to. Hi, oh, hello. hi. <laughs> Very windy. Windy. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll go slow. Oh. We're just, wow. Oh, God. Do not 
not feel safe at all. We've got one foot on the pedal, one leg on the ground kind of supporting us, hands on the brake. Oh. Far out. Can't do this for long though because it like fully cramps your quad. Yeah. Ow. Don't go too quick in case it comes real fast. Can I stop again? Yeah. Oh, it's like really hurting my hands. I'm quite curious to see what the weather actually is up here right now. Wow, look at the mountain. <laughs> looks so nice. My location, 12 degree feels like 12. I reckon the wind is only 18. 18? The gusts. <laughs> The gusts, 83 kilometres. No way, it's like 183. Look where we come from. I'll turn the bike around. Look at the mountain up there. Ooh, somewhere up there, not that high, but Lord almighty. That's enough good content at the moment. I've got to concentrate to get down. Speck you to the bottom. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh gee rest. whiz. So that whole descent, no cars passed us, which seems crazy because there's a lot of people going up the other way. But I also think that on the descent, so many like restaurants, is it like a campground or something? Yeah. I don't know what was going on. We're but on the camp up there. Yeah, it seems like it was like a, it'd be packed. It'd be pumping in the summer, it'd be really cool. Anyway, that pass with the wind, most outrageous, very scary. Very but scary. But we're just gonna end up having to like walk our bike. No one came out behind us though, so we just like went slow. <laughs> kept our feet close to the ground and the wind hasn't really stopped but I think it's just because we're not so high and, and it's got a bit warmer down here too. So cool this place is amazing. It's a great national park isn't it? Yeah. Now check out for the wind. We must be only 30 k from floor now we'll get to ground level we'll see if we can find a bakery or something. I really want a pork top. This not is what I really want for lunch. Pork top, big bowl of chips. Mm. Some salty and a Gatorade. Gatorade. That would be the ultimate lunch. Let's no, go Gatorade. find that. See so you at lunch. Bye bye. We had a little Google where we could go to lunch, and only two k's away from us was a pizza place okay. that's supposedly the best pizza in Albania. And so we discovered yesterday there's actually a lot of Italians living here. We are pretty close, so like you can catch a ferry over to Albania. So uh, from Italy to Albania. Um, so we've come here. He's the most lovely man. So so lovely. Whoa. Well, here's our pizzas. Yeah, I'm really excited. What have we got here? Some kind of like vegetable. I got like an eggplant, zucchini, and corn pizza. Yum. And it's got, it's got like four something or other. It looks like it's got olives, mushrooms, ham, and salami, which is like the four. Delish. I'm really hungry. Dark green. Oh my god, the base. Oh, look at that cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. It's been a long time since I've had pizza, so I don't know if that's the reason, but this is could be the best pizza I've ever eaten. Pizzas were like six fifty, like if you're wondering too. Oh. We've just booked accommodation in in Vlora, Vlor, only nine kilometres away. I said to Lauren yesterday, we are definitely wild camping tonight. We just can't spend that much more money. But then I just look at Booking.com and Airbnb and. Literally all the rooms are 25 to 40 dollars and they're all nine star ratings on booking.com. So we just wrapped up an entire apartment with a kitchen and everything we need for 31 dollars. I was like, we're on a budget, but you know, 31 bucks, you gotta, that's just too bloody good. Oh, we have a flat. You've got a flat. There it is. Wow. I'm really in a bad spot here. Oh. I need to punch a repair kit before all the air goes out. Just when I thought it would be there. Which, can we go further down? Or is it too late? Oh, that's full flat. You have to put a tube in that. Here. Yeah. No, man, it's... Is that the fattest one? Yeah, they're all the same. It was like next to it. That's it there, isn't it? That slip. We should be able to just squeeze it. Yes. There we go. Aim at 
the hole, press down until the puncture plug is around halfway in. Couple of newbies going at it, eh? Couple of real rookies. Lauren's absolutely killing it. Oh, it's so sweaty. She's got it working. The tire came off its bead and everything. Yeah, go as much as you can, I suppose. Have you, have you heard it go back to its bead? I haven't, but it looks like it is on its bead. Yeah. yeah. I'll try and get the pump off now. And I'll lift the bike. Oh. What? You got another one? No, it's just definitely not on its bead. I just touched it and the ceiling came out. Oh, maybe keep going. Mm -hmm. We can swap. Yeah. Don't like pull on the pump. Blowing up a bit. Hey, you gotta run a speed over here. Oh, okay. What about that side? Can you see the line? That's where it else went off. Looks okay, but I don't really know. Oh, it's all coming out everywhere, yeah. We're all plugged in, we've got eight k's to go. She's just gone bang. Let's see how we go here. All right, that, that was a bit stressful, but I feel like uh, we did well there for the first time using that muck off tubeless valve repair kit. navigating these roads that you've never been down before, whether we go quick, stay on one side. I must say this has been busier than Sarande. Just fanging it though. Just gotta fang it. Uh, keep, yeah. Oh, it still looks good, which is good. Oh, working so hard, I'm really taking in how glorious this place is. Try it. I know. Try it Yeah. <laughs> God, it's hot. Is this what 23 Albania feels like? Well, at least the traffic's kind of died off. How's your tyre feel? Fine. Oh, six k's to go. There it is there. Our first cycle path of the whole trip. You wouldn't read about it. Yeah, this place is cool. It's like I'm like half in Miami and half in Albania, but half on the Gold Coast again. It's like these weird hotel buildings situated above all these restaurants on this lovely promenade of a beach with these massive trees and a cycle path. Ha! Boy, oh boy. Gotta love it. Just connecting the city, really. Don't know where my sunglasses are, so... See what happens. It's still only four o'clock. Place is cool though. I don't know, it's got a good vibe from it. The people seem half old, half young, vibrant. No dogs looking. A couple of young pumpkins over there. Some guy in his uh, speedos over there. Slowing. I don't know if we have to stop here or not. Wow, there's a lot of restaurants here. First time I've actually probably seen a bike. Two, I think. Like cyclists, in a way. Good. 
hope everyone else is enjoying the little tour of Vlore here. Look at this nice green section. We um, have come from the puncture. I think we're only on the side of the road. It feels like a long time, but I think it was only maybe like 20 minutes. Yeah, I think it was only 20 minutes. We actually did that pretty well, seeing as though yeah. we pumped it up and then it went so foul point again, and then we had to do it twice. Well, Lauren did it twice. She was there smashing it, smashing my it. My watch kept saying there was an incident detected because my heart was so high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got our final stats back from the climb. Um, now they came into Wi Fi, and we only gained 1200 meters today, but I was only over the 10Ks of the climb. Yeah. Because everything else was downhill, like pretty much from there. Really pe <laughs> we barely pedaled from the, t the yeah. summit or whatever to the pizza, and then like into Ocarim, I think it was. It was like we, 12 k's of no pedaling. Yeah, and then we started pedaling from Akram to Vlor on that bumpy, crappy road that we got so the punch from. I feel like I barely worked today, except for the first two hours. When yeah, we that's true. Yeah. yeah. And also, the places we were passing along the coast are so odd. Like, they're just so built up. It's like modern apartment, modern yeah. apartment, modern apartment. Yeah. And there must be so much work down here because everyone's just busy, like lots of construction. And anyway, there was an interesting places to ride along there. Um, beaches were beautiful, obviously, but it's getting really windy outside and thunderstorm coming through in the morning. Yeah, so I don't know what we'll do. We'll probably just sit tight until... It's supposed to finish like 10 or 11. Yeah, so we'll check out and then we'll get going to Barat, I suppose, and see where we end up. Probably get another hotel because, you know, we're credit card tourists now, apparently. Yes, we are credit card slippers. <laughs> I can't believe we're not wild camping, but this... He actually gave me a dollar and dollar fifty off, so this is thirty one dollars. <laughs> this apartment. We'll give you a little tour because she is immaculate. So beautiful. This would seriously be over hundred dollars. We'll have a great night's sleep in this beautiful comfy bed. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you in the morning on the way to Brat. <laughs>